Guys, so we're here at the premiere of College Musical. So how does it feel for it to finally premiere now? Uh, relief is the main <laughs> feeling, I think. So this, this project we finished mm -hmm. four years ago. And basically there's, there's been a file on one of my hard drives mm -hmm. for years now of pretty much the movie. So we're finally putting it out, which feels great. Mm -hmm. And what, why the long wait for this? Say. A good question that there should be a better answer to, but um, you know, there are actually a number of projects and files that we have on hard drives that are really old that have never gotten released for one reason or another. Certainly not all 90 minute movies, but this one happens to be a 90 minute film that is sitting around. So a lot of fans ask about it. When we go and play shows, people come up and ask about college musical. So out into the world here. And you it have is. more space now since you released it because 90 minutes takes up so much gigabytes, first of all, right? I, I, exactly. <laughs> the, you've discovered the real reason. <laughs> so how does it feel working on like a full film on this instead of just a short kind of series type of thing? Yeah, I mean, it was a learning experience for all of us. A lot of the people involved in the movie, pretty much everyone, it was our first time doing something of that scale. We were all college kids still at the time and you know we had begun our exploration into the world of YouTube and sort of this uh, kind of content but uh, it was very much an adventure because from the actors to the filmmakers and everyone it was it was such a new experience for all of us so it was uh, it was a lot of fun and, and we learned a lot and it's crazy that it's and how did you find the other actors and actresses to also star in this they're basically all classmates mm -hmm. of ours. And even actually, even the adults that are in the movie, yeah. there's maybe two main adult characters, they were drama professors. Mm -hmm. So, um, all from school. So and not just the cast, but the crew too. So you're not just keeping fans waiting, but you're keeping the rest of the crew waiting for this film to come out too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're terrible people, maybe. <laughs> No, it's exciting. I mean, a lot of the, the crew and people that are, you know, still on the East Coast that we haven't seen in a long time, it's so it's been so much fun to be emailing back and forth, and everyone's so excited to watch it on the live stream, and so it's cool to kind of bring that family that we developed that summer together again with this premiere. And do you find it harder working on, the, like, a longer version of this instead of compared to just, like, shorter videos of it? Um, certainly working on a movie, a 90 minute film versus doing say a three minute YouTube video is you can't even compare. It's, it's a completely different task that they, they almost aren't even related to each mm -hmm. other, the two activities. So yeah, totally different. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was absolutely crazy. We basically spent an entire summer like between my junior and senior year of college um, and we created a movie in that sort of month and a half and it was a very intense experience every day we were shooting around our campus and uh it was it was wild but uh it's cool that we're finally here and for those who don't know about the movie yet can you just give us like a brief summary of it or just what it's like the main idea what's it about yeah okay it's about this kid cooper matthews and um he has a little problem he wants he wants to bone his ta <laughs> And um, it, it's about his uh, uh, coming of age in college. Is there a rating for this movie yet? Uh, no, but it, it's it's not it's not art. Don't don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so since this is based on a college student, what was your college experience like? Do you have a favorite or worst memory? Uh, favorite or worst memory? I, I'm not sure I have a... Well, okay, well, my worst memory would be there was one time that I, I slept through a midterm, and that was worth half my grade, which is a whole other story in and of itself. Not a great memory. If it rates as the worst was, memory, probably He was in the studio, worse. and uh, <laughs> I think that was the reason he had been up all night. And So, um... There, there was that. Best memory? Oh, man, that's hard to, hard to pick. There's so many life-changing memories from college. I mean, it's a- Nothing embarrassing, right? <laughs> I mean, no, no, nothing like more embarrassing than average, I would say, so. <laughs> I mean, I had an awesome college experience. It's appropriate that we're doing college musical because I did a lot of musical stuff in college. I was part of an acapella group, which, as you know, is a crazy experience. Um, I did a lot of, you know, college musicals. Um, and yeah, I don't, you know, that was all great. I mean, there were definitely embarrassing moments within when you're doing a million acapella performances and touring around, you know, sometimes crazy stuff happens. But uh, yeah, that was kind of some of the inspiration behind, you know, a college musical is that we were all very involved in music in college.
And is there any part of the movie that's actually based on your experiences while in college? Besides the musicals? Hmm. I'm not sure directly mm -hmm. based, but I mean, I, I think it carries a lot of sentiment that I think a lot of people in college feel, which is, you know, college is a time that for most people, it's their first time away from home mm -hmm. for, you know, pretty much everything. So um, it's, it's a very much defining yourself moment of life. And I think, you know, it, it taps into that. That's something that I think anyone going to college or, or anyone at all can relate to. So, um, yeah, but as far as being actually based mm -hmm. on stuff, not directly. I mean, one of the cool things is that, you know, it's all shot on our college mm -hmm. campus, so going back and watching it is kind of nostalgic in that we're seeing these places mm -hmm. that we haven't, you know, been to for a couple of years, and so in that way, it's very much sort of attached to our personal college experience. We're like, oh, there and there, and we have so many memories about all these places. <laughs> and if there was a movie based on your life, who do you think you would want to star in it for you guys? Ooh. Man. Um, hmm. well, that's a hard question. I would, man, I hope I don't butcher his name, but for me, I would pick Joseph Gordon Levitt. That's right. Okay. I, 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 I was almost going to pick him. Really? Really. Well, I beat you to it. Hmm. So there. Huh? Ooh, yeah. I would pick Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> Would you make it's it totally different. If you were like almost gonna pick him and then I you pick it, Jack Black. It's really just the it's just the uncanny look of Yeah, the, the, the twins, physical. obviously. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why. <laughs> and also if you had to be stuck in a movie, what do you think you would choose? If I was stuck yeah. in a movie? Uh I was about to say The Shining as a joke, but that that's just kind of really dark. <laughs> Honestly, if I was stuck in a movie American Pie. So you're saying if you had like if that you would like to be stuck in American Pie? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm not sure how I interpreted the question. <laughs> I think it was just if you were stuck in a movie, what movie would you just happen to, sure. to be stuck in? Like what would make sense? Hmm. Just if I had to pick on that, I don't know. It just That's seems what a lot of college experiences are yeah, like, anyways. Seems to be the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, I like Pitch Perfect. Yeah, Sometimes my life feels like that, you know, constantly. Music all the time, everywhere. Not King Kong, since Jack Black's gonna be in your life. Hey, yeah, you never know. I can see it. King, King Kong is definitely the one for Sam, <laughs> yeah. And can you guys, since after working on this film, could you guys picture yourself working on the big screen film? Or even like Transformers, that those type of movies later on? Uh, even just directing or acting in it, or uh, just even having, being like, Certainly, there, there's definitely always other ideas mm -hmm. for larger projects. So, um, you know, if is there a feature-length film down the road? Um, maybe. There's certainly ideas that uh, we have for that stuff. So, yeah. And, and since this is a live stream of the movie, for those who won't be able to see it, where will they be able to find it later on? It's on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, and those are the places they can get it for sure. And then we're, we're thinking about some other stuff too, but um, we'll see about that. Definitely iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. That's where, that's where it's at. And lastly, any messages to your fans or apologies for the waits, anything? Um, honestly, the main thing is just thank you so much for the, for the support. The main reason I think that the movie is finally getting released is that literally so many of you guys ask about it all the time and we get we get so many messages about, you know, where's College Musical and I, I really like, because we, we made little badly shot episodes called College uh -huh. Musical way back when, which... Some um, of the, the first the, things we did on yeah, YouTube, honestly, which yeah. Which story is, is roughly based on um, sort of that, that content. And so a lot of fans ask about it and that's, that's really the main reason why we're putting it out. So thank you guys so much for you know, continuing to watch our stuff now years later and hope you like the movie. And Sam? Yeah, I mean, when, when we were shooting this movie four years ago, all I could have asked for would be for in four years, you know, to be still making content, to have amazing fans out there who are supporting our stuff, and to now get to share this with you after, you know, those original web series kind of happened. It feels very full circle, and we have the fans to thank, so thank you guys. It's basically moral of the story. If you spam people, things will eventually happen. I guess that's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And lastly, can you just share with us, for those who don't already know, your social media, Twitter, Facebook, anything? Total, totally. Um, my YouTube is Kurt Hugo Schneider, which is the movies being streamed, youtube.com slash Kurt Hugo Schneider. And then 
uh, Facebook, Gear Hugo Schneider, Twitter, Kurt H. Schneider, and Instagram, Kurt Schneider. I know, it's, it's terrible and confusing. <laughs> And I'm obviously on Kurt's channel a lot. I also have my own channel, which is the Sam Shuey. My Instagram is also the Sam Shuey. Twitter is Samuel Shuey, and Facebook is Sam Shuey Music. Uh, yeah, we relate to the game on some of those. <laughs> it, it's tough, you know. Like people take over, uh -huh. like yeah. like on Twitter, they'll claim, you know, Sam Shuey and uh -huh. stuff, and then it's like, dang, but that dang is it. actually some people's real names, though. Still, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Can't blame them. But, but then when like when did, I was but my then YouTube Sam Shuey Music Official was already taken, and I was like, "What? <laughs> How can that be?" <laughs>